Hello, welcome to the February 2024 vlog, um, <laughs> recorded on the last day of the month. Good thing I had the extra day for this leap year. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be another really fast one. Uh, they always are, I think, because I'm just trying to sort of get through as much as possible in one month. And by the time I get to the end of the month, it's like, oh, sugar, I need to go and record this thing. Um, you can see my cupboards are a bit bare today because of uh, we've got some work happening in this particular room. So I've had to gut a lot of stuff out. Uh, a lot of the delicate stuff like the miniatures and models that are up there and all my uh, games consoles have all disappeared as well. So basically, I'm just sat in a cold, cold room with a few games left behind me before they get packed in the boxes. But apart from that, let's crack on. Um, so this month was a bit of a busy one, mostly because I had surgery early in the month uh, to repair a meniscal tear. That has caused me to have to take some time off work. The plus side, I was able to do a bit more video gaming, not a lot of designing, because unfortunately a lot of the, the sort of painkillers and things that I was taking kind of knocked me out a little bit, so... Say la vie. Um, but uh, for the stuff that I have been able to do, right, so a little bit of game design. Um, I managed to get through all three of my latest prototypes. So Ghost Town got a bit of a revamp. Um, it's creeping more and more towards a sort of finished state. Uh, we One of the things that was discussed was maybe adjusting the middle bit section. So instead of having a like a, a town that you're trying to build together, it's a creepstone manor where you're pulling monsters from it and then they bounce back again if you don't sort of rehouse them as quickly as possible into your little town and then trying to create interesting mechanics with that sort of bouncing thing where they go boing 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 boing. So that's quite cool. Looking forward to seeing how that goes. Uh, Dragon Ranch, so that had a massive overhaul started in December and only towards the beginning, uh, sorry, yeah, beginning of February did I actually manage to finish all those changes. It's a completely different looking beast even though a lot of the key mechanics and things are still there so we'll see how that one plays out and then the last one is a revisit of an old game called golems where you had little tiny robot things that you bopped around a board and in the very first designs you had dice on them that you could use to steal pips from other players and if you got your uh, particular golem up to full pips he'd evolve and do weird stuff um big problem with that is that if you're losing you lose harder and if you're winning you win better so trying to balance that out was a bit difficult. This latest version, though, I've sort of moved away from the dice and have more like these sort of cubes sort of stacked on top of them. And I'm going to see if it's possible. Oh, probably hear an awful lot of traffic and people shouting and stuff because of the, the fact that I'm having to record this in, day, uh, in the middle of the day as well. Um, yeah, so instead you've got like stacking these batteries on top of the mech, uh, the little robot, sorry, and then the robot will uh, activate hexes based on what stuff he's got stacked up on top of him. So yeah, hoping that will come out pretty cool. Um, so let's move straight on to games played. So games played, uh, loads this month. So a lovely little co-op, I say a little, uh, a co-op called Unsettled with my friend Tom. Absolutely huge game. Um, and the idea is that you're like space explorers that are exploring different planets. Well, the particular mission that we did that was a vegetation planet. So the whole planet was just covered in like vines and trees and stuff like that. And our ship got sunk down into it. And we had to then go and explore this planet and try and retrieve our ship. Uh, the, the central conceit is that you've got three actions that you do in a turn. One of them has to be a rest action, and the different actions that you can assign your dice to will either cause the pips on the dice to decrease by one and do the action, or it's, it's like a rest, it'll increase them by one. The, the issue, though, is that if your dice get too low, the, uh, there's like a time tracker, and if the time tracker sort of goes round enough times, you lose the game. So the idea is you're trying to complete everything before the time tracker goes off, and there's loads of like movement mechanics, things like that. Really good fun. The minis were lovely of the little monsters, and the production value and the art was really cool. The writing was stellar. It was really funny, really kind of tongue-in-cheek, but not like ha-ha, laugh-out-loud, complete parody. It was, yeah, really good. Uh, another one I played was called Aquarium. Now this taught me a bit of a lesson. So Aquarium was basically like a double rondelle system where you're trying to get fish and things into your tanks. Your tanks can only hold a certain capacity of certain types of fish and some fish can't be together. So you can't put a clown fish with a shark, for example. Um, and what this game taught me is that you don't need to have huge amounts of bits and pieces and stuff everywhere. You can have very simplistic gameplay presented in a lovely new way and there you go, you've got a new game and it's really fun and interesting. So really enjoyed that one. Um, then with the kids, we've also played Cat Cafe. So that's a roll and write where you're trying to build, uh, trying to install different bits and pieces for these cats into their little cat towers, like, I don't know, toy mice and things like that. So yeah, that was really good fun. Uh, Splendor Marvel. So this is the Marvel version of Splendor. I'm not sure what the big differences are between it and regular Splendor, but again, engine building, the engine building game, good fun. Uh, Temple Run. So this is a, oh, I don't know if it's up here. Oh, oh, there he is. Yeah, Temple Run back there. I don't even quite see if it's going to focus him. But uh, Temple Run is a, a very, very old game that we've had for absolutely ages. I'm really surprised the batteries in it still work. Uh, and the idea is you're trying to run away from this demon monkey. Uh, you roll dice, you fall down traps, things like that. I lasted exactly 10 seconds in that game. Uh, I rolled my dice and immediately fell down a hole. <laughs> so that didn't go so well. Um, we've also played the next Mystery Agency. This is by the, uh, I think his name's Henry. 
he's from the play the play that goes wrong show or something um it's called ghost in the attic it's like an escape room style box but you're trying to get into the box and solve a mystery really good fun really enjoyed that one uh and then the last thing was the dice tower puzzle i started back in january managed to finish it uh, i don't know if i can flash a picture up here maybe maybe a picture on here there um but yeah lovely little puzzle really good fun um some really devilish bits but then some really nice bits as well so it finished all that so um as i said because i had two weeks off at the beginning of february i was able to do a lot of video gaming dig digging back into my old collection so i did a bit more of resident evil revelations 2 not very much because the kids kind of co-opted the switch uh, from me and then i was there i couldn't play it anymore but you know it's good fun um so uh, while that was happening i grabbed one of my older handhelds my 3ds and played a bit of oh kirby triple deluxe so it's like three games in one essentially but there's like one main game and then two like tacked on games that are they're okay mostly i wanted it for the main game but yeah really good fun really enjoy my kirby games because they're nice simple palette cleanser games between like the bigger scarier games or the harder more in-depth games uh, and then at the moment i'm still tr struggling my way through mario and luigi's Dr a dream team bros so this is like a, an rpg version of the mario myth or so you've got a lot of um like action selection things of like you know select this attack to do this select this attack to that a bit like like final fantasy or the the jrpgs um however you're not immediate you know you don't just select an action and it does it you've got to be involved as well so when you do the jump attack if you click it just right on this button when you hit the monster you get a second jump attack and things like that and then there's like defending you've got to jump at the right time or use your hammer at the right time um it's the weirdest game i've played from the mario bros because you're following around a sentient pillow person to find more pillows made out of rocks um and the thing I don't like about it is there's a, it's very MacGuffin-y. It's like, oh, suddenly I need this MacGuffin. Now I need this MacGuffin. Oh, and here's a new attack, which is from this MacGuffin. And it's, yeah, it's a little bit throw things random shit at you, um, even more than the regular Mario games. It's not very subtle with it. <laughs> but anyway, that's that one. Uh, um, video games, video games. Video. Oh, uh, playing on the old SNES Mini Classic. So since we've had to move everything out of here anyway, we set it up on the telly at the, in the front room. Um, and we've been playing that again. So Metroid, a bit of Star Fox, a bit of the old Mario Karts, really good fun. Um, and then outside of like actually gaming, we've also pulled uh, two, uh, sorry, but I've also bought two Game Boy Advances to sort of do them up. Because I saw some lovely videos of like Game Boy Advances where they've redone the screen and the buttons and the cases and they look really, really nice. So I thought, yeah, that'd be great. Project I'm doing with the kids at the moment, it's not going so well. Um, we've managed to get the new shells, we managed to get them clean, the, the old Game Boy Advances cleaned up and actually working beautifully. The problem is now is that I've replaced one of the screens and it's just completely black. And I can't tell if that's a problem, something I've done in the loading or if it's the screen that's broken, don't know. Um, I have a second screen that I'm going to test, do a bit of uh, mixing and matching but uh, in, in theory this will be my soldering project that I wanted to do for this year because this one has um, controls that you can solder into the main motherboard so I'm looking to try and get that finished off uh, and then take all those Game Boy games that we that came with the two advances so it came with like a big bundle of games and stuff just get them cleaned up with a bit of IPA and then download sorry back up the ROMs so I can then play them on the ROG later on if uh, you know if I ever get back to the Asus uh, back to the ROG um last thing is books read then i guess so i've been proofreading again so Gemma has finished a book called gnomes and necromancy really good fun one of her best books so far um finished that well, about a week ago knocked out in two days which is big for me because i'm a very slow reader uh, so look out for that one coming in the future and just finishing up my clash of the titans mech compilation which is one that again Gemma wrote a story for and there's a whole bunch of short stories off the back of it quality is varying uh, some of the stories are very generic some of them are very good um some of them are just weird and some of them are just no no this isn't very interesting um yeah so apart from that that's it and then i've already mentioned what projects i'm doing this year so i'm think i'm just going to just sort of sign off there so february has been an absolutely jam-packed month despite the fact that i've been out for two weeks at the beginning of it uh and then there's loads of little projects going on at the same time the kids are getting back into what they're doing Gemma's doing what she's doing and then yeah we're, we're planning for the new year. So anyway, I'll sign off there before I wobble any further. Bye.